Uh, greetings, countrymen and countrywomen. Uh, this evening I want to talk to you about, uh, about health and security. Now under health, I will start with Ebola. You remember my proverb? The Luganda proverb, Nanta Wurirwa, Yasawara, Yasawara Naba Bumba. The one who could not be advised was told that uh, clay doesn't make boats, but he couldn't listen. He made a, a boat of clay and he sat in it and uh, sank in the, in the, in the, in the lake. Now, this Ebola was very easy to stop. Very easy, because it is a very aggressive disease, but it does not spread easily. It spreads only on contact. And not only contact, but intimate contact. When you, you, when you, the virus falls on your arm here, it will not enter your body. It is only when it goes into the, into the eyes, the, the mouth, the nose, or through sex, or through blood, that it can be a problem to you. Therefore, it was very easy to stop it. But you remember, people couldn't listen. Who are saying uh, report and, and uh, stay at home? In fact, at, at first we were not saying you come to the to the quarantine center. We were saying you know, if you feel feverish, you feel uh, having problems, stay at home and contact the medical of your area. They will come and find you there. Uh huh. But no, <laughs> people came in. Which doctors, uh, uh, so-called religious people, uh -uh, for us we can pray for you, and, and, and you don't have to go to the to the hospital. Uh, that caused death. The witch doctors, we, we can uh, we can treat you. People died. So, what was the in the end? What was the the total? Total cumulative number of confirmed cases, 142. Those who recovered, 86. Uh, total number of death, 56. Except for the first group, th there were those who died at first, b before they knew what it was. Those really are the people that should have died because they didn't know. But these who died after, I think the Minister of Health should take time and, and audit for you and tell you in separate uh, programs, tell you that from here to here, these people should not have died. They died because of not listening. 
of not listening. And they can tell you the stories of people who came from Kassanda, they went to I don't know where, then from there they went to, 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 to Budaka, you can imagine Chibuku. Now, the consequence of all that are these 56 people who died. So I came here repeatedly and squarely with the, with, the, with, the, with, 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 with the public, with those who are doing that, and eventually they listened. Eventually they listened. When they listened, Ebola now is finished. Ebola tati tijuangudi. Why? We have now overcome Ebola. Why? Because people have listened. Simple. I want to thank the, the medical staff. When we are giving medals, we shall have to give the medical staff also, as we normally do. Because in, in, in this war, in this war of the Ebolas, of the Coronas, of the, they are always on the front line. They are always on the, on the front line. Uh, and we have, we have lost some, some medical people. We have lost some medical people. Uh -huh. But some of the medical people who died also, there was some element of, of negligence on the medical side also, handling patients without, without the basic, basic uh, protective gear. Therefore, now, after four months, because this started in August, started in August, three months, I think, started in August, uh, because of not listening, we, 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 we spent uh, three months, and until now we have overcome it. Of course, generally speaking, I must congratulate Uganda because in other countries like Sierra Leone, it took like two years. <laughs> People are dying, big numbers. Uh, but, but, but still, uh, I'm really not happy with people who don't, who don't listen. So, therefore, uh, now let's go to, to Corona now. Ebola, Tumuangu Day, we have overcome Ebola after unnecessary losses of 56 people. Tumuangu Shari Yao, ah, we still have Corona. Corona, we should have we, we, the total number of people who were, who were infected, who have been infected up to now, uh, 170,000, much lower than in many parts of the world. Uh, in some of the countries, people who died are more than one million. Forget about the ones who were infected. Uh, one million people died in one of, one of the places. Uh, here, total number infected, 170,000. Why? Because of the stringent measures we took. Sending 15 million children home. Uh, in, and in time. Abana bonamugen mudeyawaka. Oh, bichi, oksoma, bichi. Abana abawara wagenda kufune mbuto, mbuto chizibu, na yu mbuto sikufwa, chizibu na chichiri yao. Tonight, for the Dagara, but it's not dying. These children are getting pregnant. It's a problem, but it's not dying. So, all that confusion, people trying to divert us, to oppose. But you see, I think the Minister of Health should get time and show you total number of infections country by country, country by country, country by country. Uh -huh. Then those who died, 
3,632. Ah, if you compare with other countries, a big number, much more. But even here, we still have of Jemu, of Jemu, Bananta Burirwa, Abasawara Nawa Bumba, the ones who are not, cannot be, who don't listen, who cannot be advised. Now, the biggest weapon initially when, when Corona started, went to the Bible. Went back 2,000 years. The story of the, of the lepers who came and stood far and shouted at Jesus, said, Lord, you help lepers. You can imagine 2,000 years ago, people knew you could avoid sicknesses by what we now call social distancing. That's what, the, that's what the lepers were doing. The, it was known. You don't... The lepers don't come near other people. They stood far and shouted. That's what we did with the corona when it started. Decongest, decongest, decongest. Just our children go home. The people in the markets, in the don't come to church services. Don't go to dances. It was the principle. Don't don't congest. Don't congest because if you congest, it will be it will be easy, easy to. That's what we did that time. That was the main method. That's why we have 170,000 a population of 43 million, you go and compare with other countries who are playing politics with this, not telling their people the truth. But the good thing with this one, of course, Corona was more serious than Ebola because it was going through the air, through breathing. That's why this social distancing was the solution. But the good thing is that unlike AIDS, humanity was able to develop a vaccine quickly. Quickly we got a vaccine. And as I speak now, we have got all the vaccines to vaccinate people. However, and the vaccines are you get two vaccines. If you are an adult, 18 years and above, you get dose one and dose two of many of the vaccines. AstraZeneca, what, uh, this other one, Pfizer. Uh, there is one, one called Johnson Johnson where you get one. But the others, it is two. But then, if you are above 50, you must get a booster after some time. But from the records here, those who got one dose are 19 million. The population which should be vaccinated fully are 28 million. 28.5 million. But the ones who have bothered to get one vaccine, 19.2 million. <laughs> Another 8 million did not even bother to come, for the, even for the one dose. Uh -huh. Then, now, these 28 million have include the ones above 18 years old who are 22 million 
And then the 12 to 17 years, who are 6.5 million. Uh, Aban and Abo, the ones of, of 12 to 17 should be, should be vaccinated. So those are 6.5 million plus 22, altogether 28 million. But of, of, of those, Bananta Wujwa, Yasabara Nabwa Bumba, the one who, who, who traveled with the, who made the boat out of clay. Yet he was told that clay does not make boats. The ones who are bothered to, to show up for one, one, one dose, 19.2 million. That means another 9 million. They have not even bothered to come for even one, one, one dose. Mm -hmm. They're not bothered. We are, we, we, we are struggling, we don't sleep, we are looking for vaccines. We, 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 eh? You travel, like, like recently I've been traveling, you're going to all very dangerous places in winter, what? The planes could not easily take off at some of the airfields, they were full of snow looking for all this support. When the vaccines are here, mm, they are not bothered, nine million. They are not bothered even to come for one dose. Uh -huh. The ones who came for two doses, 6.6 .6 million. The ones who have uh, done a booster, 453,000. So there's a big population who are either not vaccinated or under vaccinated. And yet the vaccines are here. Kata uh -huh. and, and those who are not, because it has been established that when you are fully vaccinated, you may still get the corona, but you will not be very sick and you will not die. I don't know how, inf how infective you are. Because you can still infect when you are fully vaccinated. Minister. Yes, Excellency, you can infect others if you get corona. Uh, you can infect others. Uh, uh, but you will not die and you will not be very sick. Th this is the, uh, the, the, the savvy. And I don't know, maybe some of them even don't get infected. I don't know. Because of vaccination. What do you say about that? Excellence, it is true. Yes. Some don't get infected. Uh, the ones who are fully vaccinated, some don't, don't get infected at all. And, uh, and those who are infected, but with full vaccination, they don't get very, very sick and they don't, certainly, many of them, don't, they don't die. And, and there are advantages in that, because if you are not very sick, that means you will not congest the hospitals. So hospitalization will be small, and the few who go to hospital will be attended to because the, 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 the hospital staff are not overworked. So it is a big, a big, a big uh, saving. Now, but these people have, have refused to to be vaccinated. So, so therefore, I appeal to these nine million rebels of Ajemu, go and be vaccinated, please. Go and get a second dose. No, th th those are the ones who never got vaccinated at all. You go and get the first dose, then the other ones, the, the, the ones of, oh, one of second dose, <laughs> more than 20 million. 
more than 20 million did not bother to get the second dose. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the ones for uh, the booster are above all. Those are like another 3 million or so. Because these are the elders. These are the 50 years and above. So therefore, we still have here Bananta Burirwa in the issue of, of Corona. Yet, Corona is still there in the world. COVID-19 remains a threat globally. Countries such as Japan, United States of America, the Republic of South Korea, Brazil, and France are experiencing rising numbers and death, uh, but, also, uh, but also even some of the countries in Africa. The virus continues to mutate. Mutate means change, change its, uh, its structure, and this may occur anywhere. It's, it's continued to change. Although the number of people testing positive remains low, trans transmission is still occurring in Uganda. The, the people are still getting infected. Um, the, I think recently, they've been seeing um, uh -huh, the current average confirmed cases are 70 per week. That's not small. Uh -huh. 70 with an average positivity rate of 1.2 percent. When we test 100 people, uh, one person is positive. out of 100. So therefore, Vanange, everybody who has not been fully vaccinated, who has not been vaccinated, go and get vaccinated. And the, and the, the other time when I was here, I announced measures that people who are not fully vaccinated and boosted should not go to public meetings should not uh, attend churches, should not go to conferences. So the ministry sh sh should implement that. So again here, the problem is now no longer, because in the past we were really stuck, we had no answer, no easy answer. That's why we had to go for tonsil barrier to decongest. But now we have the solution, the, vac the vaccine. But people don't want to take the vaccine. Bananta bourgeois, ah, one oh. Now, then another problem is the problem of There is a problem of malaria. Malaria is also becoming a problem. Malaria transmission in Uganda is, is perennial uh, with, the, with two seasonal peaks between April to June and September to November. Malaria cases were 11.3 million in 2021. However, this year, 2022, 14.3 million people have already got malaria. In 2021, a total of 2,773 people died of malaria. As of October 2022, 
a total of 2,489 have already died. So the people who are dying from, who are dying from malaria are almost as many as the ones who, are di who died from corona. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Throughout this year, 2022, the country has been experiencing malaria epidemics affecting 75 districts. The top 20 districts reporting a very high number of cases are Yumbe, Tororo, Ajumani, Kamuli, Agago, Wakiso, Kasese, Iganga, Kibuku, Pader, Lamo, Terego, Busia. Butareja, Oyam, Mayuge, Isinjiro, Udaka, Kampala, and Bugiri. Now, the big the the, the, the big problem is again us. Yes, the the mosquitoes are there, but we have got uh, m m solutions against the mosquitoes. And what are the solutions? The use of treated bed nets. <clears throat> so, although there is climate change and so on, the, the mosquito mosquitoes are there in the bush and so on, but for us, we have the solution. The main, one of the main factors is the poor use <coughs> of, protective, of protective measures like mosquito nets, which the government routinely distributes, treated with insect, in, insecticides. However, only 70% of the population consistently sleep under mosquito nets. I remember some years ago, I used, I think we used the army. There's a time when we used the army to distribute the bed nets. I remember. Yeah. And I remember we distributed 21 million bed nets. Huh? Remember the homesteads homest homest in Uganda? Uh, now uh, are like nine million homesteads, Amaka. So when you distribute 21 million uh, bed nets, you you are having almost two bed nets per per per, ho per, per, per home per home per homestead. But they are not used. People don't don't use them. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where they put them. I don't know, Minister of Health will have to sit down and see whether they cannot go in these homes and inspect using the chiefs or we shall discuss it. Where did the bed nets go? There was the spraying of 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 of, of wars. What happened to that? You tell us, uh, Jane. Your Excellency, indoor residual spraying is still ongoing in eastern Uganda and northern Uganda. However, there is a challenge that the current chemicals that we were using, the mosquitoes became resistant to them. Mm -hmm. So we have ordered other chemicals to use and we still continue to spray. But the, the, the treated badness are still working? Yes, Excellency. Oh, okay. Because you see the, the, the treated uh, bed, mosquito bed net has got a chemical when the mosquito sits there, it dies. Doesn't it die? Yes. 
the, the bed net kills the, it protects you, the, the mosquito doesn't reach you because you are, you are inside, but it also dies, isn't it? Yeah. So, if we had listened, there are other measures we are, we are looking at, like the larvicide, use, use of the larvicides. We have been talking about it for a long time, but th that is to be done by the government. Now, you, 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 you in your area, clearing bush, bush, bushes around you, around your homestead, uh, removing stagnant water, and empty containers around your home because the mosquitoes like to, 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 to be in those, to breed in that stagnant water. And uh, sleeping in mosquito bed nets, under mosquito bed nets. I sleep in bed nets, I cannot sleep anywhere without a bed net. Uh, even when there are no mosquitoes near me, in Nakasero, in Entebbe, in Raik, wherever, wherever. Mm. Even when we were fighting in the bush, we had uh, bed nets. They were not treated, they, they, they are not uh, like yours, which, which are Zavagaga, the ones which, which, which are treated. Uh, but at least they would not allow the mosquito to bite me. Now you people, you are lucky, you have got a mosquito, which, a, a, a bed net, which doesn't allow the mosquito to reach you, but which also kills the mosquito. So if we are doing it properly, the mosquito will be finished now. And we add other measures like the indoor spray, indoor residual spray on the walls. Uh -huh. The, the mosquitoes would, 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 be, would be reduced. I know this because we were able to eliminate tsetse flies in the cattle corridor, in the Ngoma, Nakasongola, Wachato, Singo, Gomba, all the way to, to Isinjiro by using Dicatex which was spraying to kill ticks, but it would also kill tsetse fly. Any tsetse fly that would try to, to bite the cow would die. The cow, the cow became a mobile killer of, of, of tsetse flies. When I first came to Kisoto, there was, there was some, mosque, some biting flies. They are no longer there. They all got finished. I went to Barilegi, northern Uganda, where I have a, uh, a state lodge, and, uh, and there were so many tsetse flies there. And I brought cow, uh, cows there, sprayed them with the decatex, and they cleared the tsetse flies. If you go there, they are, uh, they are, you don't even have mosquitoes or biting flies. They are all finished. So, these, these uh, methods, properly used, can finish these health problems. But if you have got people who don't, who don't care, uh -huh. so here, there's another problem. People are dying from corona when they shouldn't die. They are dying from Ebola when they shouldn't die. They are dying from malaria when they shouldn't die. Now, what's that now? Huh? The final item on health I want to comment on is HIV AIDS. The other day we were in uh, Rukunjiri on AIDS, AIDS Day, and I was looking through the, the briefs and the messages, uh, the, we, we have in Uganda 1.36 million people, 
no, 1.45 million people who have got uh, the virus, who are living with the virus, HIV. Out of these, 1.36 million are on lifelong anti antiretroviral treatment, what we call ARVs. They are, they are being treated with these uh, medicines, which doesn't allow the person who has got AIDS uh, to die, saves him, doesn't die, doesn't eliminate the virus completely, but it suppresses it and the person lives. Um, and the prevalence rate, the people with AIDS out of every 100, uh, over 100, for the people between 15 years of age and 49, is 5.5% national. From the 18% which we encountered here in 1986, 86, 87. The problem, however, is that we are getting new infections. 54,000 new infections occurred in 2021. This was a bit lower than a few years ago when 70,000 new ones were being, were being infected. But still, 54,000 is a big number. It's a big number. Now, of the new people who are being infected, many of them are between 15 years and 24 years. Our young people are getting infected. We have made gains in reducing AIDS death, which dropped from approximately 25,000 in 2015 per year, but we are still losing 17,000 people every year from AIDS. So people are still dying from, from AIDS. Why? Because even when they are put on the drugs, they don't take them consistently. Again, they neglect. You can imagine now. So you, 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 you see how many people are dying from when they shouldn't die. Ebola, people are dying when they shouldn't die. Corona, people are dying when they shouldn't die. Malaria, people are dying when they shouldn't die. Now, AIDS, even when there is medicine to prolong life, they don't follow, and, and, and we do 17,000 every year. But also, on the issue of AIDS, I saw a danger in the message, the messages. The messages were saying now, take antiretroviral drugs. When you take them, you don't die. And you live a fairly normal life. However, when I checked, can somebody who is living on, on drugs against uh, AIDS, can he do, for instance, can he join the army and, and, and do army work? They say no, if you, uh, if you put him 
under, under physical pressure, he will collapse. So, please, don't get the message that getting AIDS and getting drugs is, 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 is solves the whole problem. No. It means when, when you have the virus, you are really a, a form of PWD, person with a disability. Yes, you, 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 you will not die, but you will not use your full potential. Uh, and when we talk of, uh, when we talk of uh, exertion, it, it is not just only physical exertion. I think even mental, uh, intellectual. Uh, if, if, because for instance, we had one of our people who was doing, uh, who, who, who was living, uh, supported by these drugs, but went for a course, a course, no, no, not, not physical, but of course, course for writing, reading, what, what, and, uh, and he, he died. I, I, know the, I know somebody, one of our very good people. Yeah. So the, 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 the disability which AIDS br brings you is, n is not only f from physical, for me, I, I saw, I saw even intellectual, mental uh, uh, exertion can lead to the, the, the collapse. So therefore, my message is please avoid getting AIDS so that you, get your, you, you use your full potential in your life. It's absolutely unnecessary to get AIDS that you are looking for temporary pleasure, pleasure for a few minutes, then you get a problem all your life, even if you don't die. But there are certain things you cannot do. It, 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 it cuts on your potential. So the answer is avoid. This should be the message. And if you see the statistics, you'll see that some parts of the country don't have AIDS. Karamoja. Karamoja only 1%. One person out of 100 in Karamoja. And yet they have got, the, yet they have uh, polygamy, what, but they're disciplined in their, in their system there. Uh -huh. Yumbe, West Nile, very low. One percent. But in other areas, some of them go up to 16 percent. So, it is really behavior. Behavior is the, is the main issue. And that's what should be emphasized. Instead of emphasizing so many other things, uh, condom use, I don't know what. Why do you have to go with people who, whom you don't trust? Why? What are you looking for? Mm -hmm. What are you looking for exactly? Sex should be very intimate with, with, with the people you 100% you sure of. Otherwise, if you, is it water that if you don't have sex or air? Because the other time, I, I told you that I was speaking about something and I did research. I found that if you don't get air for six minutes, you die. I think water you take, I don't know how many days. Food you take almost a month. Now, 
if you don't have sex from an unsure source, what, what will happen to you? People are just lost. Hmm? Why should you have sex from an unsure source? What for? What are you looking for? Therefore, on the issue of, of, of AIDS, my message is, yes, the ones who are already infected, they should get drugs and stay on them. We don't want these 17,000 who are dying every year. But secondly, don't get infected at all, because when you get infected, yes, you may we have the life-prolonging diseases, but still, it, it reducts on your potential. So those are the points I wanted to mention on, uh, on health. The, um, now on the issue of uh, of crime, you have been, you have been hearing um, you have been hearing incidents of first we had the, 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 the attack on General Katumba where his daughter died and another person and Katumba was injured then you had attacks on police posts. There were attacks in the Bukomero area. Then the other day you had some attack in Busika. And recently we had a, a, a cross-border um, a cross-border incursion from Congo. Now, some of it is, is pure crime. Crime, like for instance, the, 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 the people who killed a soldier at Gaddafi barracks and were later killed and the, the gun is reco recovered in, 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 in the Jinja, in the Iganga area. This was just a crime. A soldier was, had, was using a gun to rob. Then he was arrested, then he escaped, then came back and killed the soldier, but eventually he was gunned down. So th that was mainly uh, crime for, for money. But the incidents of, of, of this police, of police posts and the attack on Katumba was by elements con connected to ADF. And another group of some people operating out of South Africa these are the ones who were in, in the Chiboga area. But as I told you, it's really foolishness to think that you can commit crime in Uganda under the NRM and you, you survive. As I speak, uh, and you remember I told you that the, the other time when we were having the end of the year, uh, I told you that anybody who commits, who kills people will be 
arrested or killed if he, if he tries to resist. Uh, so I can give some incidents here. On 31st October 2022, an estimated seven criminals attacked Busika police station in Ruero, during, during which they killed two police officers, robbed two guns, and set the station ablaze. So, they thought they had disappeared when they did that. Now, the problem with the crime, there's no way you can go and commit a crime and you don't leave traces. Whenever you commit a crime, there's no way you will not leave a tra a traces. Yeah. Rawa and Great Lakes. Uh, President Agamba, it is even you. Okuza, Omusango, and Gogo, Ogoku Tabant. Not only car or wolf, or not only car or bonero. Yes. We am Babanavant, Rabba Jokuro and Dora, never mania, and never had them to call rich. And you did sing up to Waberao. E chita bantu e chichi kangejo era wabera o obufu wabera o abadja o kuondera obonero bara bara so, these people thought they were very clever but of course there were there were there were there were cameras which saw them although they had covered their heads there were cameras which saw them there were there were other signs And the police kept looking for them. Later on, on the 9th of December, 2022, a group of criminals using the same mode of attack as in Ibusika attacked Chabadaza police post, police station along Masaka Road, during which they rescued two suspects from police custody killed two, 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 two civilians and set station ablaze. Uh -huh. But now, Balekawo Bonero, Wesagara Kumenyawan, they left there some signs which I don't want to, do, to reveal to you here. Now, using that, those signs which they left now, security forces have been hunting for these groups until Friday, 16th December 2022, when police teams raided the suspected ADF cell in Maganjo, where two suspects were arrested. And then, after arresting them, they found out that these were ADF connected with Congo and so on. And then, of course, the security forces got more bubonero now, more, more, more clues. And, and then they confirmed that they were, the ones who had attacked Usika police station on the 31st of October killing the two policemen and robbing the two guns. They are the ones who killed the cow of Buko. You remember there was a cow of Buko who was killed. Uh -huh. Who was killed, he was called Mr. Guang at Matuga. Now, now following you, uh, uh, this more information, police intensified the hunt for their accomplices until the night of the 18th of December 2022, 
at uh, 23 hours, which is 11 uh, p.m. at night, when police teams raided an ADF cell in Chitoma Tuga, where two terrorists were shot dead, namely Muanguzi, Abdul Shakur, and Hajuli Akim. Two SMGs were recovered, and explosives in bags recovered, and safely uh, detonated by the police bomb squad. Evidence of detonators uh, and other explosives and metal bars were found. Initial police forensic analysis has confirmed that one of the recovered guns is the very one the criminals ro uh, the, the, the very one the criminals robbed when they attacked Usika police station, while the second one was robbed from a private security guard at Rugoba Kawempe police station in September 2022. So now this group now is is fully accounted for. There are still a few members of their group whom they, whom they are hunting. Uh -huh. Then there was another group who, who attacked a police patrol in Kapeka. Uh -huh. On 26 November 2022, around 22 hours, that's 10 o'clock, at night, criminals ambushed a joint UPDF police patrol in Kapeka, killing private to, 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 to fail or bed. The joint patrol reacted quickly and killed two attackers, namely Sekimpi, Dennis, and Tarasisi Marengera, a, 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 a Burundian by nationality and recovered one SMG. From the initial forensic analysis of the weapon recovered and documents, police were able to confirm that Sekimp Dennis was not alone. Because what, what we have done, what the, the, what the police did, they fingerprinted all the guns in Uganda. These guns have, have fingerprints. Uh, the fingerprints. So, if you use a gun, we can know which gun it, it is you used on, on, on committed crime. You had a group of other criminals that were engaged in robberies and murders in Chiboga, Mtian, and Bari. Seven incidents of murder and robbery were confirmed to have been linked to Sekimp Dennis and his group in Chiboga, Busunju, Kapeka, and Bari, Malaba. Police carried out further operations to completely neutralize Sikimpi's group with the following results. Two criminals killed in action. Two guns recovered in Kapeka and Mbari. Nine suspects have been arrested and have, and, and have uh, evidence has confirmed that they were in all these above incidents. They are to appear in court. 16 Burundians who were believed to have links with the Sikkim group were arrested and handed over to immigration for deportation. Uh -huh. Now, I have already told you about the, the ones who attacked Gaddafi barracks. Those were, were killed again. I have already to told you about, about those. And the ones of Katumba, some were killed, some were arrested. They are now in, 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 in court. Uh, then there were people who had thrown a petrol bomb at the police station here. Uh -huh. Those also have been arrested. Um, then the Bijambia groups 
who were arrested. You remember the Bijambi of massacre? They were arrested. Uh -huh. Then the um, maybe let me read this one for you. I, I'm just going through the fire just to to to, to show you how the, the, these fellows are w wasting time. But 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 I will come to that. Uh, con on 25th November 2021, criminals ambushed the UPDF patrol in Wakiso Town Council, where they hacked two UPDF soldiers using machete and took one gun. Later, on 7th December 2021, they attacked police in Busunju, during which they killed two police officers and robbed two SMGs. Lastly, on 16th December 2021, they attacked Nakasu's police post in Kiboga, during which they killed two police officers and robbed two police guns. Uh -huh. So they think they were very clever now. Following these attacks, police and the UPDF, with the support of intelligence agencies, launched full-scale operations and arrested 22 suspects who revealed that they belonged to a rebel group called Uganda Coalition Forces for Change under one Ndugwa Frank Semogere, who initially escaped arrest but was later arrested from Kenya and brought back for trial by the General Court Marshal. All, all, the, all the five robbed AK-47 SMGs were recovered. The 22 suspects, including their overall commander, Wan Semogere Ndugwa, have been charged before the General Court Marshal of offenses of, 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 of murder, aggravated robberies, and so on. So that group is totally accounted for. Now, lastly, the, the the other day, w when I was in the in the U.S., uh, a group of forty came from from uh, that they were coming to let me I think this is the one let me read it for you uh, on 13th December 2022 at around 600 hours early morning that is you know there is confusion by the English. They say six o'clock in the morning. You know, morning is for us, we count from the first hour of the night. So here we are talking about Shai Kuminaviri Zechiro. From it's now, I think now it must be now about the third hour of the night. So you go on counting until uh, 12 hours. So, say, Kumina Birzumka, Kumina Birza Subui, Zausiku. The civilians called on the UPDF border detaches of Chapa and Kayanja 1 by use of telephones and they informed the soldiers that the enemy had crossed the river Semuriki and they entered on our side. Quickly, the border, border detachments informed their commanding officer, eight, eight Mountain Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Saul Bishusha, 
na bimanya he organized assault squads who advanced using convergence battle formations approaching from four approach routes they intercepted and attacked the, the enemy around the villages of Chapa, Chove, Kayanja, Kayanja to Bueramure Junction. That enemy group came from Mambasa territory at, at River Ituri in Ituri province. In a bigger group which crossed Elingate Commander Road, that is inside Congo and entered the Irumu territory to areas of Tokomeka and Berutu, where, where, whereby on the 11th of December 2022, our joint forces of 83 battalion and one commando battalion and the Congolese army attacked it and killed 30 terrorists and captured eight guns from them. Inside Congo now, that's where our people attacked them and killed 30 of them and on the 11th of December, and captured, uh, 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 and, and captured eight guns, and rescued 19 abductees. That bigger group was under uh, a, 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 a rebel commander called Musei Mayor, or something like that, and another called Rafiki who are coming to join another enemy commander called Mahmoud Rumisa, of the place called Maitatu. <coughs> Thereafter, that thorough beating, when they were beaten, beaten inside Congo, the enemy commander, Mohamed Rumisa, sent this group of 40 fighters to come to Uganda, kill civilians and loot their properties. In their foolishness, they thought that if they, now that they are being beaten in Congo, if they come to Uganda, maybe either, either Uganda is uh, the soldiers are less or what, I don't, I don't know what they thought. After uh, the, the, the total defeat of this criminal group, since 13 December 2022, to date, the results are, the, uh, are, are as follows. There were 40, 21 killed, 15 captured alive, 17 SMGs and two machine guns captured, four IEDs, improvised explosive, explosive devices captured. 337 bullets of OSMG captured, 75 bullets of uh, machine gun captured, 15 handset phones, I think these are mob mobile phones, five radio walk talkies, on our side, one soldier was killed, one soldier was wounded, one civilian was killed, two civilians were injured. So therefore, out of the 40 who crossed into Uganda, 36 are either dead or captured. The one we don't, we, we, we don't know where they are are, are four. Coming operations are ongoing to account for the, the four remnants. The, the, but we suspect they could have probably drowned in the river. They are, the, one of their commanders called Yakute could have died, could have drowned. The other two commanders were killed because they were identified, Madison and Cheswa, somebody called Cheswa. So therefore, I am saying all this to really, first of all, inform Ugandans 
not to worry about these, these people, these groups. The UPDF is so strong, it's, not, it's just a joke to think that you can come and uh, run around supported by the police, by the intelligence service. There's no way you can come with guns here and you, you think you will survive. Yes, you may survive day one, day two, but you will, in the end you will die. Now, their only salvation has been Congo under President Kabira. Who allowed them to stay there, have gardens, have what? Uh, steal people's property, steal. They grow, they grow cocoa in that part of Congo. They grow a lot of cocoa. During the harvest season, these terrorists would come and harvest people's cocoa and sell it. With our, our operation there, this is the first time the Congolese have harvested their, the, the Wanaichi, have harvested the cocoa and sold it. That's why the, that's why the U, U, UPDF is very popular with the Wanaichi in Eastern Congo. So now that His Excellency Chisekele allowed us to operate there, there is no way they will survive there. In their foolishness, they think that the forest is something big. After the forest is easy for us, it's easier to operate in the forest than even in, in, in the other areas. We see them by day, we see them by night. And that's why we attack them, either by infantry attacks or even by long range weapons from very far. So when they now run from there like these ones to try and hide in the population, again we, 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 are, we are ready for them. So two things, first up, I want to assure the Ugandans that please don't just be vigilant. Just be vigilant. Because when you are vigilant, like the Chabad as a group, how we got them eventually, it was partly through the vigilance of the people. Because they came to reconnoiter first. So the people saw some people whom they didn't know in the area, who, who had come to spy. They got them, that's how, that was one of the, how some of the clues. Now you heard that in the case of the border, in Toroko, the Wanaichi, so these people telephoned the, 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 the army and the army came and finished them. So the only thing we need from the public is vigilance because the criminals will leave signs. If you see somebody who is suspicious, you contact the security forces. Uh, the rest will be easy. So Ugandans, don't worry yourselves. Number one, don't worry about these people. Because I see people talking, they, they, they insecurity, what? <laughs> please, please. If you have got blood pressure from other causes, go for treatment, but don't develop blood pressure on account of insecurity. There will be no insecurity in Uganda. Number two, be vigilant to, to see the, somebody who is funny and report. The, the rest will be very easy. But number three is for these, these terrorists themselves. I'm telling you that whoever you are, we shall get you. And now, when we have been operating, we have been getting more information. Who is who? We, we even know their names. Initially, we didn't know their names. We know everybody, the, the, their names. We are now looking for them. So the only, uh, and then they are unfortunately taking young people, young children. Do you have those pictures on this? Those young young children who. Then, what is what?
Aha, no, you can. You can connect the voice. You can connect the voice. You can see that one. Kumbwa manya kwa pita. Zainab. Zainab. Shamsi. Shamsi ni nyanga zunjiri awa. Shamsi. Ya ba chenga. Those are, those are the soldiers. So, soldiers. Kabila Kwa 
Okay, uh, so now you can see those are the young children. They recruit. You can hear how they were recruiting these young children. Uh, to, to, I have not yet got the full story whether they, they were already fighting or what, or whether there was. But you wonder why, like the other boy from Arua to Busia to, you know, the Yen she was talking, because that one is a Ugandan. The other ones are Congolese, but also <laughs> captured. And, and uh, the girl you could hear, she was speaking Uganda because of staying with the, these, 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 uh, these criminals. So, the, the fact of the match is that 
the, the UPDF, now that we have entered uh, that Congo, there is no chance of these people surviving. Uh, so my advice to them and to all the adults who have been uh, invo involving them, maybe they did not know the capacity of UPDF. They, 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 they think that Congo, they think is far or what, but there is no way we cannot reach as long as the Congo government allows us. So my advice to them, uh, now we have all the data, we have all the data, we have all the information, uh, is for these people to surrender, get out of the, uh, the, the remnants who are hiding, get out, there are some who are hiding in the, in the trading center, because now they, they fear to stay in the forest, because in the forest, wherever they, they go, we see them. Uh, we see them by day, by night. There's no, no way we cannot see them. Uh, so my advice to them is get out and surrender either to the Congo army or to, the, to our units which are there, or, 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 or it's, it is easier to surrender to, or to the UN, doesn't matter, but get out. If you don't get out, you, you, you will die. That's the third point. Number one, Ugandans, be assured there is no, no threat which we cannot handle. Number two, be vigilant. Number three, you the terrorists, get out and stop making endangering uh, people's lives and endangering your own lives. I thank you and I wish you a happy Christmas. Now, in, on, 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 on New Year's Day, before New Year's Day, I will make a, a, again a broadcast, but this time I will concentrate on people I'm trying to get the proper Uganda word about Congo Z. Congo in Rinyankore is when somebody, when, when somebody is cheating others while they are working for him is not doing any work, pretending to do work when he's doing nothing. So, in fighting poverty, there are some people who are Okongora as uh, the ones who are, we are struggling with the poverty ourselves, uh, many, many Ugandans, but you find there are others who are just <laughs> Okongora. What, what is the proper pronunciation, Nankabirwa? Choke de Blunge, you say, Okongola, Abakongozi. Aha. But there is another another one of the Chirala Chiricha Fabembogo, Okongo Ja, Abakongozi, Abakongozi, the Vavit Kakavaka, Abam Tambuza, Okongo Ja, Abakongo Jakavaka. Make a chote Okongo Ja, I thought was like Olympi. Yeah. No, no limping in a cocoa congo just only mutuf. Nay, Kabaka Baba Mwet say, Era Baba Mwet Ka, Kubi Vega Vega, Bam Congo Ja. Nature to Tegaze Chava Congo Z. Abev Zav Zanga Barabacola. That's all. Chetuganda Conga, Siganda Conga, Kubira, Chis, Manichi, Mania Foreign Affairs. Nakuzumeza, a Satumurumu. Genda Kogera Ko Aba Congo Z. We cannot go on working because in the Sumra, Nkola, their government, Nkola Vyange. Now you find people are just uh, Congo, not bothered. Playing Rudo, Rudo in, in, in the trading centers, uh, especially our young people. Kati of Chichengenda Kogarako on the 31st. 
So if I can get somebody, Nakagar will come and translate for me so, so that we, 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 we really discuss that. Thank you, Katonda. I hope you, I wish you a happy, a Merry Christmas and on 31st, uh, God willing, I will, uh, I will uh, wish you a happy new year. Thank you.